What's up, guys? GP here, back with an episode, and the episode today, or the episode right now at least, I had another episode on the Cannabis Library, so check that out if you'd like to, but this episode is just another episode of me talking to you guys. <laughs> Essentially, some of these episodes are good, and honestly, if I'm being real, I think some of these episodes would be really cool to look back on. Like, this is my first week moving out to Chicago. And I think this would be a cool episode to look back on because I don't know what's going to happen, but I think some pretty cool stuff's going to happen while I'm living out here. So I'm looking around gathering the supplies to, to construct this J. I hope this lighting is okay. I'm trying to get some, some decent lighting in this room. Nicole doesn't like me always making videos out there because then she can't watch TV or do whatever she wants to do out there. So I'm trying to make do with the, with the space I have in here. But back to what I was talking about. I think some of these episodes would be cool to see in the future. And it's kind of cool just to talk to you guys. So you guys know what's going on. I came out here to Chicago and I'm doing more content like I've been doing. I'm about to start implementing some Delta 9 like legal reviews too. Some of it's from like um, the gray market. There's a lot of quarter. I like to use gray market. But there's a lot of street brands, whatever you want to call it. Like right now, I have some Obama runs. Um, and if you're in the Chicago area, I'm trying to figure out how to promote some of these people without... I don't know. But if you're in the Chicago area and you want to hit up some brands for people I talk about and stuff like that, kind of just reach out to me on IG. That would probably be the easiest way. But I went to a meetup, actually, yesterday. Yeah, I went to a meetup. And it was like the ones we have in Houston towards like Market and stuff like that and all these people there. But it was just for weed. So it was like weed vendors and weed dealers pretty much. And they had their street companies and their street companies and everybody. And the prices here were amazing. If you guys know anything about Chicago and the Chicago weed scene, it is extremely expensive. What's tax as hell out here? So on the streets, like you can get some decent shit and on the low, like low key, some of those people had like bad mids, like surprising mids for it to be a legal state. But that's neither here nor there. I went to this weed meetup yesterday. You could just smoke. People have been in their weed and stuff like that. And it was cool. I'm not going to give any locations, anything like that. I don't want to put anybody on blast, but it was definitely a dope event. It was cool to see all the different brands out there that are moving. Just how you gotta move, cause it's expensive and it's hard to get licensing out here. But I've only been out here for a week, so I'm just now really like, peeking into the cannabis world here in Chicago. I still don't know what this episode is gonna be called. I think I'm gonna call it I just moved, I moved to Chicago last week, or I just moved to Chicago. Because it's not really about why, but I guess I go into why. Um, why I moved to Chicago really was, one, I switch up. I don't like staying in the same place. Like, I've lived in now, what, three states, probably like three states, six, seven cities, six cities in the last five, six years, so... I got like moving. That's the first thing. Two, I needed somewhere with like public transportation and stuff like that because the way I move and I just like to get around, but I also work from home, so I don't need a car. And I wanted to go to a place that was different and like that to where I can easily bike here, I can get on the train here, bus here, whatever. And then also they have a budding weed scene, no pun intended. very different and I've been noticing a lot of stuff out here and I've even talked to people in the Chicago area about the weed scene here and people have been excited about what I'm doing here and that's exciting for me to see because a lot of people in Texas are like why is he doing this in Texas like not that I cared about that I did it for years in Texas so don't get me wrong I did not give a fuck about that at all but what I am saying it is it is cool to see people in Chicago like damn it's cool to see a black person even 
like being able to kind of find a way to the weed scene here in Chicago. And if you're here in Chicago and you're, you you want to work with content creation, media, and the weed space, hit me up. I'm looking to work with some people. I actually really am looking to work with some people. But so far, Chicago's been a pretty dope experience. Um, it is, I never want to hear people from the North talk about Southern segregation ever again. <laughs> like, ever. Like, if anybody from the North ever talks about racism or segregation, I'd be like, shh. Shh. <laughs> it's crazy up here, bro. In that sense, like, people are really separated. Like, with the gentrification of the neighborhood that I'm staying by, you can tell it's just because they're building grocery stores here. Like before, people just didn't have grocery stores. So I'm also seeing the different nuances. Like in Houston, it's like that in some areas. Don't get me wrong. But because Houston's such a driving city, <clears throat> and even people in lower income areas still drive and get around, like it's it's different. It's harder to, like out here in Chicago, it's like you can really deprive people of shit. A lot more, than, a lot easier than you can. It feels like in Houston, maybe I'm completely out of the loop, but like, I see it here so apparently, so it's not like I'm just blind to it. So being out here for the last like week, week and a half, it's been interesting, but I am excited about this Astros game tomorrow to switch it up. <laughs> I'm on an Astros game. What's that game four? Hopefully the Astros clinch it. They, I wasn't going to buy tickets because they're kind of expensive. Y'all don't think I'm rich because I'm not. <laughs> this is just like an opportunity. It's like how often is your team in the playoffs in the city that you just moved to? And it's like tickets were resale because the game rained out today. So there's another game tomorrow. So it's like a resale. So it went down a little bit. Because of that, because people probably had to go out of town. Like, fuck, I got to sell my tickets. So I bought them off StubHub. And I'm hype to watch my team play tomorrow in the new city I live in. This Obama runs. It's nice. It's really nice. It's from Canico. Um, I can put the information on there. Um, somehow I'll figure out how to link the information, let people know about it. But guys, it's, it's dope. It's dope to have the different options. And it's like, it, we had the weed meetup and it was like low-key kind of. It wasn't sketchy at all. It was low-key and it wasn't sketchy at all. That's really all I'd say about it. Because at the end of the day, weed's legal. Like, it's not tense. Like, if you said we'd have like weed, people be out and shit like that. But it'd be more tense. Obviously, because it's illegal. So I'm just learning in this new market how to traverse. Because the dispensary, I, I went to the dispensary a few times, but it's just extremely expensive. Um, I'm going to be doing some dispensary reviews as well as great market reviews. Because I respect both, and both are really necessary at this point. Just because of the prices of the dispensary, especially. Um, but... I'm just kind of figuring out my place in like the Chicago cannabis scene as well as doing the, the Delta A and hemp reviews on the nationwide scale because I, I like both of them. I think both of them are important um, to advertise for and to review and talk about because both are like budding cannabis industries in the U.S. or like around me where that, that I have access to, you know? When it comes to moving, I know a lot of people have a lot of different excuses as to why they don't like to and stuff like that. And very valid excuses. I tell Nicole this all the time. Because I say something's an excuse does not mean it's an invalid excuse. But because you're not, it's still an excuse. You know, if you're not going running because your leg's broken, it's an excuse. It's a very valid excuse though, you know, so... 
Um, I know a lot of people when it comes to moving have excuses, valid, invalid. But if you guys get the opportunity to and you have somewhere that you want to move, I encourage you to move. It's doable. It's possible. And you'd be surprised who will help support you in that. Like even if it's just like a good word. You know, I'm not saying people just give you money. You might have to earn it. You might have to work hard for it. You might have to save up for it. But if, especially if you can find someone or somewhere, sorry, we can like horizontally transfer your funds. I could do an episode about that. But but like if you guys wanted to move, like it's a, a good idea to wherever you try to move to, like get as close to your current funds as possible because it's more possible than you think it is. Everywhere here, everybody here is everywhere else. It's like somewhere's cheap, expensive. No, your lifestyle changes everywhere here. I pay for the train, I pay for other shit versus paying for like lift rides, but, but everything's close here. But at the same time, you have to walk kind of far because it's a different setup. You can't park places, but I don't have a car anyway. Um, you can bike, but your bike could get stolen. Like it's, you know, it, it's this pros and cons to everywhere. But if you guys want to take that leap, want to take that jump, and and move one day or and do that i encourage you to if you have questions for me about how i do it because i've moved a lot even within cities but within states state to state i've done a lot of u.s moving and i'm young i'm 25 so if you guys have some questions and you're young and you want to move i can probably help answer some of them maybe i'll do some episodes about that as well i'm open to doing episodes about anything not just talking about weed really um, because I do do, do do, <laughs> I do like doing a lot of different things. And moving's one of them. And luckily Nicole has like learned that and she's adjusted to it and I think she's probably starting to enjoy it too. Um, because a lot of people look at it like an ominous thing, you know, but if you prepare for it, it's still, stress will still come, but I, I look at it as something fun, something optimistic. Like, I got a new studio set up. I um, get to do Delta 9 interviews now. Still get to hang out with you guys, but also open up my um, viewer base and stuff and get to put on for more companies and, and markets that are more solid for me and stuff like that. Get to just do a lot of things that weren't possible where I was, you know? So much to me of life is like about location. A lot of people have dreams and their dream literally can't happen because of the location they're in. And that is such a sad reality, but um, some people have to, they have to stay where they're at. They have to adjust what their goals or dreams are. But really, if you have a dream, and not to say Chicago is my dream city, but there are stepping stones in life, you know, until we go to this step and go to this step and go to this step. And how often, if you really think about it rationally, could each step all be in the exact same location and still grow you? That's how I'd be looking at shit. So, um, that might sound crazy to some people. Some people might be, oh, that makes sense. Some people be like, I agree with that, whatever you think. But how often, it doesn't make sense to me, especially in a place like the US with all these different places that specialize in so many things. You want to learn this here. You want to learn this here. Pick up this skill here. Um, all the successful people I study, they go to these different places and they pick up these different skills and that's what made them who they are, you know? And that's how I envision how I want to build what I do and build my life, really, even, you know? So. Damn, this episode, I don't really know what I'm going to call it, still. So. Cause don't get me wrong, there's been cons to moving here so far too. Not too many, I don't look at them as cons, but more like challenges, you know? There's just been shit that's been hard. Everybody has hard shit. And if I had been in Houston right now, I'd still have some of the same hard shit that happened. I would've been just in Houston, you know? But some dope shit has happened. I, um, I bought a bike the other day, not a very expensive bike, but I bought a bike and just to qualify, like, it's just a small, like, um, hybrid. I like it, though. I really do. I rode, like, 16 miles the other day, and 
it was a nice ride. I enjoyed it. It's slower than I'm used to going, just because the wheels are like bigger, like hybrid wheels, not like the skinny street wheels I usually have. But at the same time, like it was a nice ride and it was solid. I was like lane splitting. I followed this, okay, seemingly homeless guy. Seemingly, I don't know. He had some signs of being homeless, but not some other signs. And this isn't to mock homeless people at all, because I wanted to bike with bro. I hadn't biked with any. I haven't biked with anybody in a second, like it's in a long time. So I get behind him. He's he's speaking a language. I think he thought he was speaking English, but I swear to God he wasn't. You know, we're in the middle of the street. I had one. I had one of Nicole's AirPods in this air free Chicago marathon going on. We're riding in the middle of the street. You know, I'm. I just like riding, you know, especially when the streets are open like that because they opened up so many streets because the marathon. So you could just bike down the main streets, like just free, no cars, you know? So I was like, shit, I'm taking advantage of this. But then this, we trying to cross the the marathon and this homeless guy, he looks over at me, goes, like seriously like that. Like it wasn't, I think he was trying to speak English. I didn't, I don't know, but whatever he said, I just said, yeah, you know, I was like, yeah, 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 and then he was like, all I heard him say after that was all day, all day, because, but the, what he was speaking before that, he looked like, kind of like a Hispanic man, but he wasn't speaking, his, I don't know, he wasn't speaking Spanish, I understand Spanish, and I was like, yeah, all day, and then he crossed, and I followed him, we crossed the marathon, and he started lane splitting the cars, it was gridlock, so two lanes here, two lanes here, we were riding down the middle. This van comes and shoo, like this dude goes. He slams on his brakes. He stands up on it. Bro's cold on the bike. I realized that when we were lane split. Bro's cold on the bike, no helmet. Just like kind of some Native American ponytail type shits, you know. He stands up. He swerves the van. I'm, oh shit. Nah, that lane splitting shit not for me right now. I'm too lit. And then I just turn right, get off that street. I'm like, thank God I didn't just witness a death. Because the dude in the van was about to clear that dude out. And he stopped just in time. And the guy, I think he turned this way. But then he like rode around the van. <laughs> but that's my story of biking with a seemingly homeless dude last weekend. And it was pretty dope. For real, I'll do it again. The last thing I'll tell you about my first week in Chicago is Nicole and I went to a Puff Puff paint event last last Friday last Friday so we got to paint and we got to puff so you got to bring your own weed roll up and shit we so you smoking J's people brought alcohol and shit and they bought the canvas and we uh, paint on the canvas and shit like that. Nah, that shit was dope, actually. You know, I like expressing my ways in different arts. I often be speaking, talking to you guys, making videos and stuff like that. But I like doing different types of shit. And Nicole brought this up. I was like, bet, bet let's do it. Here. So it wasn't that bad, like cost-wise, for a fun time. And they had an instruction in front of you, but you kind of could do whatever you want. I'm going to put an overlay on the screen of what we did and try to put some information about them. I want to shout out Dope Events because that was cool. It was like an art studio, like a normal art studio, but they just had like incense burning and shit. We burning J's and shit, and it was dope. The Obama runs is punching me kind of in the back of the the back of the throat a little bit. It's getting a little bit rough, but overall the effects are pretty nice. I've been talking a lot, so it's been it's been burning a bunch. But I guess I have to talk a lot or else these videos would just be silent, so. I hope my neighbor's window's down because I know they'd be pissed off with all this talking and shit. They'd be like, this nigga ain't stopped talking yet. What the fuck? Okay, this is actually the last thing I'll leave you with. 
Someone put me on the food I need in Chicago because I really haven't found it yet. I found, actually I had some of the best Jamaican jerk chicken I've ever had. Some of the best Jamaican jerk chicken I've ever had this last week. But I need other shit. So put me on. Everything I've had so far, it's just been unseasoned. I'm like, shit, maybe that's why we were just so bulky in Texas, because everything had unbelievable seasoning salt. Also, everywhere here, you gotta beg for shit. Like, you get home, no napkins, no fork, no. Like, these businesses, you gotta ask for that shit, bro. You gotta ask for straws. Chicago a place, there ain't no southern comfort like that. You better ask for what you want or you're not gonna get the shits. <laughs> Dead ass, you're not gonna get that shit. <laughs> I learned that this last week, so I won't make that mistake anymore. I'm asking for what I want. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate you guys smoking with me. It's week one in Chicago. I want to look back at this video and laugh. Laugh at where the state I'm at right now because it's dope. But I am sitting here puffing on this Obama runs with the good people. Laughing today and laughing whenever I see this in some type of time capsule type metaphorical way. See you next time.